Yo everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a review and a demo of the brand new concealer by NYX Cosmetics which is called the Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer. Altogether there are 24 shades which is pretty good and this comes off of the back of the success of the Can't Stop Won't Stop Foundation. For reference my shade is in good if I knew beige that's what I'm actually wearing on my face right now. And then the concealer which costs £8, so affordable. The shade that I bought was in True Beige. And the reason that I bought this is because it's described as a nude beige with warm undertones. I've got very warm undertones and this works perfectly for my skin tone. Now, an FYI, this one for me, my skin tone in particular, works as a very brightening under eye concealer there is a lot of yellow in this particular shade so if that's something that is not really your cup of tea you don't prefer ones which are super brightening as in this is mega brightening i'm sure if i was to buy another shade i could buy something that was maybe not as in your face but personally as somebody who bought it online as well i'm actually quite happy with it it works nicely with my skin tone and gives that really nice brightening effect under the eye and to the high points of my face and yes my makeup is half done as you guys know by now if you followed me for a while firstly thank you and secondly I always kind of half do my makeup and then I apply this and then finish it off so you can and then I've also just washed my hair which is why it's like a mini lion stroke cat so let me just quickly read to you what the claims are of this concealer it's available in 24 highly pigmented hues this lightweight liquid won't transfer and has three major complexion musts covered you can use our blendable matte formula to camouflage imperfections Brighten up your face and contour those features to perfection. This creamy multitasker also delivers full coverage with a finish that lasts for up to 24 hours. Pair with our foundation, blah, blah, blah. A highly pigmented, I would definitely say yes. Lightweight liquid, yes. It is slightly thick, but more of like a moussey, lightweight sort of texture. Won't transfer. Well, to be honest, how many of you will actually rub your eyes knowing you've got eye makeup on? I mean, I touched my face and I didn't find that it moved. But when people say that concealers are non-transferable, I'm always a little bit iffy to kind of say yay or nay because of the fact that I don't actually wear concealer on my face. This is meant to be a full coverage foundation, therefore this should be doing the job of covering all my imperfections to the point where I do not need to use the concealer to do that. Matte formula, yep, it is a matte concealer. Camouflages imperfections, well, it pretty much covered up my dark circles, I would say. Lasts up to 24 hours, I don't know why I take my makeup off and go to bed. So that's about it, and that's just from their website. So my personal opinion is that Yes, it is full coverage, I would say, but I still detected a slight amount of my darkness under my eyes coming through. I don't consider myself to have super, super dark circles. Therefore, if something which is called full coverage should really cover everything. For example, my Huda Beauty Overachiever Concealer covers everything, it's full coverage. So does my MAC 24 Hour Studio Fix Concealer. So does my Too Faced Born This Way Sculpting Concealer. So does my Nabla Cosmetics uh, Close Up Concealer as well. I think that this does a pretty good job, however, especially considering it's only £8, all the other ones that I've mentioned to you cost double, if not more, the price. This is what it looks like up close. And then you've got this Dofa applicator, which has got a slanted edge, meaning it's easy to get into the contours and panes of your face. I didn't find that it moved around throughout the day. I didn't find that it went patchy either. However, I did find that it's slightly creased, which, as you guys know, is a huge bug of mine. Not only me, I know everybody else, I mean, when you put your on a right concealer on, you don't want it to crease and emphasize lines and texture under your eyes. And if you haven't seen my how to stop your under eye concealer creasing video, do a little search, I'll link it below for you guys. I use the same technique in that I use my loose setting powder, set it under the eyes for five seconds and brush it off. I still found that it creased a tiny little bit. Now with my other concealers, that does not happen. I've got normal to combination skin, FYI. So just so that you guys know, um, I don't actually have any fine lines around my eyes yet. And I still found that this slightly creased under the eyes. So in that respect, I was like, hmm, it's okay. I would give this concealer an 8 out of 10. Um, like I said, even though it's marketed as, as full coverage, I don't find that it is completely full coverage. I think it's medium to full buildable coverage, but I also don't like to layer and layer and layer concealer under my eyes just to get that full coverage effect. It should do it with one swipe, as is the way with other concealers. I think the shade range is good, 
and I think overall it's an okay concealer. It's not the best on the market, but it's still up there with some of the best. Now, in terms of its full coverage counterparts, unfortunately, I don't feel that it quite cuts the mark. And that's the reason why I have given it an 8 out of 10. Okay, so now that we've got that out of the way, let's do the demo, which is why most of you are here. So I'm going to be highlighting underneath my eyes, chin, cupid's bow, nose, forehead. These are the areas that I tend to highlight to make the light bounce off of it and give my face a little bit more dimension before I go in with contouring. See, as you can see, it is yellow. I did tell you guys, right? Yellow. And now I'm going to use a damp, partially dirty, half-used beauty blender to blend it all out. Now I'm going to use the Makeup Revolution Luxury Powder to set it all. And the usual five second rule to let it set, not bake, before I wipe it off. And there we go it's all done nicely brightened so I'm just gonna finish off the rest of my makeup as I always do just so that you can see how it works with the rest of the makeup the rest of the foundation how it sits on the face how it looks brightening once it's all complete because at the moment I just look slightly startled all right I am back everything is now all done just for reference on my lips I've mixed two lipsticks I'm wearing the NYX soft matte metallic lip creams in the shades Copenhagen mixed with Monte Carlo and now you guys can see how it all kind of sits together on the face I think it looks really nice I think it looks nice and brightening but not too much it's not too obvious by all means try it out it's not an awful awful concealer yes it does crease a little bit but I find that definitely when I did wear it I was in quite high temperatures in that I was sitting in an area which had a lot of heating so I think that if you are quite hot then it will definitely crease a lot more than like for example now I'm fine it's cold outside and whatever and it's okay but I, I think also in terms of how the coverage is it's still not as full coverage as I would like personally I can still see a little bit of darkness underneath and that would mean that I would have to wear a color corrector and you guys know that I don't like to do that I want a full coverage concealer to do what a full coverage concealer is supposed to do as in what the name suggests other than that, I hope you guys found this review and demo useful and helpful. Let me know what your thoughts are. For those of you that have tried it, why did you love it? What's so great about it? For those of you that don't like it, why don't you? Like I said, I don't hate this concealer. I've given it an 8 out of 10, which I still think is a very good mark. Um, it's just something that's worth checking out. If you are on the lookout for a new concealer, and especially considering it's affordable as well, with £8, at least you know you won't waste a lot of money if it was something a lot more expensive. And on that note, I'm going to leave you all and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.